Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you. It's not often that a president is subject to a special counsel. And that means often that uh, the findings of the special counsel, counsel could lead to something very dramatic, like impeachment, or it could just turn out to be a bunch of nothing. And so everybody was interested in this. Everybody was excited about it. The president himself was furious about it. Uh, but this is a big deal. We don't generally have investigations like this of sitting presidents. United. The only thing that really seems to remain um, is whether or not the president himself is guilty of some crimes and do those crimes constitute in the minds of the members of Congress high crimes and misdemeanors, which is the constitutional issue for impeachment. And so we're, we're sort of down to the end game here. I mean, it looks like uh, there, there was a rapid string of indictments, uh, trials, etc. It's possible that m one or more of the president's children or in-laws could get indicted, but it's, we're pretty much at the end of this process. Really nothing more than a Cuban puppet and finally set their people free. The issue, though, is did the House and Senate, did the Intelligence Committees, when they were controlled by Republicans, ignore important pieces of evidence? Uh, the Democrats think they did. And so the Democrats will have to start their own investigation. They may find nothing as well. We're at a point where this is about to move, unless there's some, you know, smoking gun. This is this investigation is about to move from the legal to the political, and there the Democrats are going to have to decide: Do we move forward with impeachment? Now, Nancy Pelosi has said wisely, I think, that probably not that there's just not, unless there's some blockbuster finding in the Mueller report or someplace else, probably not. Um, because bet we're almost at 2020. Let, it's cleaner, easier for democracy to let the voters decide. This investigation has taken place simultaneously with a very chaotic presidency and with a separate investigation into Donald Trump's business empire. Now, it may not be impeachable to um, be a corrupt businessman. All you have to do is look at the Deutsche Bank story in today's times and you can see that that's, that's gonna be a big story. But maybe it's not impeachable, but it sure isn't desirable.